us begin. First get one medium onion and chop very finely. Be careful not to uh, cut your hands, especially if you have a sharp knife. Put half a cup of vegetable oil. Put the onions and three or four green chilies, depending on how hot you'd like it. And a couple of bay leaves. And a large heap spoon of teaspoon of garlic and ginger. Put it on high heat. Add roughly about a teaspoon of salt. Remember, salt is always to your taste. But also remember, if you don't have enough salt, then the dish won't taste so good. I think we need a little bit extra oil. So that's a cup and a little bit, another teaspoon or so. Bring it to the boil. Then turn down to low heat and let it cook gently for at least 30 to 40 minutes. So the onions all break down. Get a saucepan with a couple of tablespoons of uh, olive oil or vegetable oil and cook your sardines which I have mixed with half a teaspoon of salt and some half a teaspoon of turmeric. You want to fry them four minutes on each side. Try not to uh, move the frying pan while you're doing this and it won't stick. So after four minutes then you turn them over. As you can see it's getting very soft now the onions. Once the fish has cooked on both sides take off the heat and uh, leave the fish aside. Nearly there. Okay the onions look like they're nearly there and uh, basically I use a potato masher just to mash the onions a little. You don't have to do this because at the end of the day I prefer a smoother sauce so if you don't mind then just leave it as it is. Then add the spices we're going to add now. This is the turmeric. In Bengali they call it haldi powder. About, about a teaspoon. Maybe a little bit less. Remember you can always uh, add more or less after you finish cooking and then next time you cook you can add more to it or less to it. It's individual taste really, the flavours. So we add in coriander powder, half a teaspoon. Cumin, we added half a teaspoon and a teaspoon of cashmere chili powder. I use cashmere chili powder because it's not too hot and it gives a nice colour as well. So you don't have to use paprika. There you go, looks good. Now we're going to add our cauliflower or any other vegetable. You can add potatoes. Potatoes are really good with uh, fish. Give it a good stir and remember as you're stirring you're also breaking up the onions at the same time. So, and when, once you put your vegetables in you can give it a few more stirs and then it will break up uh, even more. This is a good way to break up the onions to give a smoother sauce. Now we're just going to add the water after stirring it for maybe about 30 seconds, one minute. Just keep stirring and add the water. We just basically want to cover 
the vegetables and maybe a little bit more. There you go. So you can see it's quite watery, the curry. Then add your fish. Add them gently, not to break the fish. This is for myself, only one person. If you add a few more fish, then it would be sufficient for two people. Then bring it to the boil. We're going to put a little bit of fresh coriander on top just to finish. Then put the lid on and turn the heat down to a number two or three and you have a gentle simmer then hopefully in 15 to 20 minutes the vegetables will be cooked and your dish will be ready. This is the time where you cook your rice as well so that will be in another video how to cook the rice. Okay, there you go, all done, and uh, enjoy.